All right, good evening, guys. It has been a week from hell, but um, this channel is all about fun and positivity, so we're not gonna talk about any of that. But in the meantime, while the car warms up, what are we gonna do, or where are we headed, actually? So we're headed up to Nilo Porsche of Rockland. They have invited us for the unveiling of the new Panamera. And if you have seen my other social medias, I am in the search for a new four-door sedan. So primarily, we're gonna go cover the unveiling of the Panamera, but um, secondarily, it is on my short list to replace the four-door Mercedes. So um, let's let the car warm up. Let's head over there because we are super late. We're gonna try to beat all the other media and the other, and the local public that is coming to see it as well. So we're gonna try to get up there early. Hopefully we can take a sneak peek, shoot really, really cool videos, and then uh, beat the crowd and then head on home. But that is the plan for today. All right, guys, so we are here at Nilo Porsche up in Rockland. And as you see behind me, they have the Panamera all undercover, so unfortunately we can't see it yet. But let's just do a quick walk around of what they have here, and then um, maybe grab a couple bites to eat, and then we'll finish up. So as you can see, there is some food, there is some um, Porsche Speedster out there, which we can go film and we'll take a look. But um, a lot of cool food. We'll finish up the coverage, and then We'll finish up the coverage and then we'll finish up with the Panamera and then head on out. But we will take a couple quick snippets and do a little tour and that'll be it for the day.
also on the Sport Chrono. Sorry, it's okay. I didn't get you. I just wanted to show the top. Should we get rid of the E63 in lieu of the Panamera, or should we pick up the Alfa Romeo? So that is on the short bucket list, so give me three choices. Keep the E63, pick up the new Panamera, or get the Alfa Romeo. But in the meantime, we'll do a quick walk around. Let's uh, take a look at the car, and we'll see how we do. So there is the white 4S. We have a black one over here. So let's see what edition is the black one. We saw the gray one into the side, which is the turbo. This one just looks like the base. So with the base, with the 4S, both of them do not have the deployant spoiler. So let's walk out, let's take a look at this one. This is the 4S, and unfortunately this one does not have the deployant spoiler. So if you will see, which I'll snip in a little picture, there's a three-way deployant spoiler, but this one doesn't have it. This one's just a traditional spoiler. Um, I think the turbo has it and the turbo S. So this is the four-wheel 4S. Four -wheel <laughs> Is a wrap for the Panamera event. Um, I'm sorry the video quality couldn't be any better but sometimes with these public showings it does get quite hectic um, but uh, hopefully you guys got some a general good idea of what the Panameras are like. It does look a whole lot better than the previous one. I unlike most people have always liked the Panameras but um, one of the big Sticking points with people on the previous generations was the big buttresses that was on the back. The front always looked like a Porsche, but the back really put people off. And with the new one, the whole backside comes off the 991 lighting. And then it's just, the arches aren't as obtruse. So the backside isn't as bulbous, I guess you, you can say. And the roof line is a lot more slanted because on the previous generation, the roof line was made for taller people on this generation. They just didn't care. They said, let's just make it a whole lot better looking. And a couple other key differences is, although the chassis and overall dimensions are generally the same, they made some minor adjustments. So the chassis is a little slimmer and the overall the car just looks more taut. So that's another big difference where it just doesn't look like a big bulbous um, saloon. And now it looks more like um, an estate car. Also new for this generation is the four-way steering that they took off their 991s. So you have all four corners at lower speeds. It turns in the opposite direction on the back wheels to get sharper turn in. And then at higher speeds, it turns with the turn for more stability. So that's another key difference. Um, zero to 60 time on the turbo is I believe anywhere from 3.3 to 3.6. Um, that has been marked by different review sites. So it is super quick now, probably one of the quickest, if not the quickest four door out there right now. So definitely look into the Panamera um, and come take a look at your local dealership. And uh, if you're up in the Sacramento area, check out Milo Porsche in Rockland and they will come help you out. The guys here were super friendly, super helpful, and I appreciate them um, inviting me out to take a look at it. All right, signing off guys. You don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to it's know. nice, huh? Definitely. Yeah, all right, so now that we have the car on, you guys can finally see the touch panel. So everything... So it's kind of a tactile tap, but if you were driving and you wanted to feel around, you would kind of have to, one, remember where you're feeling around for or take your eyes off the road for a quick second. So it's actually not that bad. So you can see here, let me get in close. So you kind of have an audible click, and there's kind of a tactile sensation, but it's not exactly um, what you would get on uh, normal buttons like this. So you get normal button clicks, 
However, once again, it's a little different. So you got the large nav screen that's almost integrated over here. And I believe on the turbo or on the other S's, you can integrate the nav into your front panel. I don't think it has on this one because this is the base car. All right, so on all Panameras, you guys can see, you got the bucket seats all around. So you got the dual, dual bucket seats in the back. And then obviously you got the buckets in the front and still the gloss panel, so they got rid of all the tactile buttons. Oh, this is pretty. All right, so that is a wrap for the Nilo Porsche Rockland Panamera event. So we'll do one last walk around. You can see the two here. You got the 4S, you got the base. You guys saw the turbo inside, but that is a wrap. So pretty cool. Uh, we learned quite a few things. Hopefully we'll get a test drive one and we'll kind of learn how we behave on the road. But in the meantime, let's just sign off.